G'day uh, guys, Mr. Bennett here. Now we're going to do a more theoretical part of uh, this whole topic and what we're going to do is be transforming or simplifying trigonometric, tri trigonometric functions. Um, so I'm going to just go through a couple with you um, and uh, obviously for kids who are doing math studies a lot of this is, doesn't really apply but certainly for the specialist maths this is important. So coming through here, if we're going to simplify something like number 1, uh, sine theta plus sine theta, that's going to be like 2 sine theta. It's like adding x's together. Um, if we're going to do 3 uh, theta take, uh, cosine theta take 3 cosine theta, it's equal to minus 2 cos theta. I think that's sort of pretty trivial. Um, now, the, the relationship that we discovered earlier, remember we are talking about our unit circle, we use sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. Now, what I've done here, or what's, what's been done here is, we've rearranged that in lots of different forms. So if I had that particular form there, then I could replace that with 1. Or if I had 1, then I could replace it with that, Okay, depending on what I want to do. Um, I can rearrange that formula and I could say that sine squared theta is equal to 1 take cosine squared theta or I could say 1 take cosine squared theta is equal to sine squared theta and I could do the same thing with a cosine. So you see all those relationships there allow me to simplify things into a form. Now that will be dependent on what I've actually been given and what I need to simplify. So it's a bit of trial and error but you know I think it's quite obvious a lot of the time. So we'll do a couple of these in terms of looking at um, the main strategies. Now, certainly main strategies you're using is certainly taking things out like common factors. So if I'm looking at there, I can see that 3 is common to both of those. So then I'd have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, which we know is 1. So that's 3 times by 1, which is equal to 3. All right, so that's hopefully fairly straightforward. Uh, if I'm looking at, say, examples of something like f, I've got sine cubed theta plus sine theta cosine squared theta. You can see that I've got sines common to both of those. So if I take out a sine theta as a common factor, then I'll have sine squared plus cosine squared. And that will allow me to say that's equal to sine theta uh, times by 1, which is equal to sine theta. All right, so getting the concept of what we're doing there. Um, if we're looking at something like uh, k, then we've got 1 take cosine squared theta all over sine theta then I'm thinking that 1 take cosine squared theta is equal to sine squared theta. Okay, so sine squared theta all over sine theta. Cancel out that with the there, and that leaves me with simply sine theta. All right, so again, this is just algebraic, but it's simplifying trigonometric functions. Now, so you can practice doing some of those, and then we go on to the next bit, which is expand and simplify if possible. So we're going to do things like foiling and so on with that. So if I did something like D, then we've got uh, sine alpha plus cosine alpha squared. And you treat it like you did do with an X or a number. Okay, so that's going to be um, sine. Well, if you want to write that out, you might want to write that out if you have to do this by hand. All right just so you can do your foil bit properly. So if I was doing that, then I'd say that's equal to sine times by sine, so that's sine squared alpha. The outside terms is going to give me plus sine alpha cosine alpha. And then inside terms is going to give me plus cosine alpha sine alpha. And then the last two terms are going to give me plus cosine squared alpha. Now, to simplify this, I'm going to collect these two things together. So sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha. Keeping in mind, I know that's going to be equal to 1. 
and then I've got these other terms and that's going to be simply two lots of sine alpha times by cosine alpha keeping in mind that cosine times by sine is the same as sine times by cosine now what we can say is that's equal to 1 plus 2 sine alpha times by cosine alpha so all on these questions here what you're going to do is use FOIL to expand them and you're going to collect like terms if it's possible to simplify them all right, I won't do any more of those, just working through there. Now, these here are ex going to assume that you can factorise things and simplify them. So there's a couple of interesting questions there. So if we did say something like number 5, 5a, I've got 1 takes sine squared alpha over 1 takes sine alpha. All right, so 5a... 1 takes sine squared alpha all over 1 takes sine alpha. Now, when I think about that factorising it, that's going to be 1 takes sine alpha, and then it's going to be 1 plus sine alpha. Now, obviously in part 4 of this exercise, it asks you to actually do some factorisation, which is assuming that you're doing this, so I can cancel that out there, so then I can simplify that to be 1 plus sine Alpha, and that's my answer there. All right, so that's 5a. Um, and again, you'll find that all of those things are fairly similar there as to what you'll be expecting to do, all right, in terms of um, these particular values. All right, so, um, you know, even if I'm doing something like this, on part D, I'll just do it up here so you can see it. Um, Cosine squared takes sine squared is going to be cos phi take sine phi, and then you're going to have cos phi plus sine phi, and then that's all going to be over cos phi take sine phi, and so therefore you can cancel out that with that, and that will leave you with simply cos phi plus sine phi. All right? So get the idea in terms of you're looking for um, obviously perfect squares and difference of two squares there. All right? So that's really important that you can do those type of questions. Now in the next video I'll actually go through something like question 6 which is just culminating all the things that you've done in the first parts into a particular question.